We acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands on which we gather, wherever we are. Here in Melbourne, I acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respect to Elders past, present and emerging. As we commit ourselves to justice and reconciliation for the peoples of this ancient land, we acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who will graduate tonight. Welcome to this graduation ceremony of the University of Divinity. This ceremony takes place in unique circumstances, which prevent us from gathering together in one place. I welcome each of you, especially our graduates, their friends and families, wherever you are. Whenever we assemble, it is our tradition to hear from the scriptures and to pray together. A reading from Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Let us pray for our graduates, the University of Divinity and the people of our world. We pray for the members of the University of Divinity especially those who will graduate tonight. May the Lord strengthen us in our work and ministry to lead our communities in the spirit of service. Amen. We pray for all people affected by the coronavirus. Protect health workers and inspire researchers that those infected may be healed. Calm our minds and strengthen our hearts, that we may be present for those who are lonely, ill, facing death or mourning. Amen. Let us pray together in the words of the prayer that Jesus taught us, each in our own language. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Authority has been vested in me by the Council of the University of Divinity to confer degrees and to award diplomas and certificates. I call upon the Vice-Chancellor. Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I certify to you that the students now to be presented have fulfilled the prescribed courses of study. On behalf of the University and its colleges, I now present to you the 346 graduates whose names are listed in the graduation program. I now confer degrees upon and award diplomas and certificates to each graduand. Each graduand will receive a testamo, 
signed by the Vice-Chancellor and me as a record of their achievement. Let us congratulate our graduates with applause. Graduates of the University, congratulations. Whether you have completed a diploma or a doctorate, whether you have wrestled mightily to pass your subjects or have received the University Medal, your achievements are remarkable. When we originally planned tonight's graduation ceremony, we expected to welcome over 1,000 people to St Patrick's Cathedral, Melbourne. The coronavirus crisis means that we must change our behaviour to protect the most vulnerable members of our community, as well as ourselves. The speed and enormity of change is challenging for each of us. The threat of illness confronts us with our own mortality. In this context, our reading from Ecclesiastes is timely. It was chosen some months ago by our intended speaker this evening, Dr John Kappa, and was used at recent graduations in Adelaide and Perth. God has made everything suitable for its time. God has put a sense of past and future into our minds. These scriptures point to two tasks for each of tonight's graduates, which they are now prepared and called to undertake. The first is discernment. How do we understand our time and our place? How do we learn what is required of us? The second is imagination. What difference might we make engaging our theological scholarship and our ministry training to live into God's sense of what lies before us? As you celebrate your graduation, as you make unprecedented changes in your lives, I encourage you to discern the times and to use your imaginations as you seek out ways to serve others. I thank you for your participation in this graduation ceremony and congratulate our new graduates on their academic and many other achievements. When it is safe to do so, the University will hold a service of thanksgiving to celebrate each of our new graduates and I invite you to attend that occasion. Let us say together the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Amen.